Biosense Choline Glycolic Facial Review. Now this is an exfoliating product. I'm going to dig deep into the ingredients of the product and see if it actually does what the company says the product does. The main exfoliating agents used by the product are all alpha hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids are chemical exfoliators. The two main alpha hydroxy acids used in this product are glycolic acid and lactic acid. They are both super effective. Now lactic acid is a very gentle chemical exfoliant. It is tolerated by most skin types. Glycolic acid on the other hand is a bit stronger. Its molecular weight is much smaller than lactic acid and because its molecular weight is much smaller glycolic acid can penetrate and get to the deeper layers of the skin a bit more than what lactic acid can do and because of that glycolic acid is a bit more effective than lactic acid but having said that glycolic acid because it can get to the deeper layers of the skin is not tolerated by all skin types if you've got sensitive skin you have got to be careful when you use glycolic acid and glycolic acid is also not well tolerated by different types of skin tones darker your skin tone is you might not be able to tolerate glycolic acid well so that's something you've got to do a little bit of a patch test and decide for yourself now glycolic acid when it's not tolerated it can cause some redness and inflammation redness and inflammation is never a good thing because whenever there's any inflammation or redness in the deeper layers of the skin an overproduction of a pigment called melanin happens and this excess melanin gets to the visible layer and that's how all your dark spots and uneven skin tone and pigmentation kick off now lactic acid is a gentle AHA apart from exfoliating your skin lactic acid it also boosts the production of ceramides. Ceramides is an essential component of the visible layer of the skin. Now the visible layer of the skin acts as a barrier. It acts as a shield and prevents water from the deeper layers of the skin from evaporating into the environment. So by boosting the production of ceramides, lactic acid is making the skin's barrier stronger and thus retaining, helping the skin's barrier to retain the moisture and keep the skin hydrated. So apart from glycolic acid and lactic acid, this product also has tartaric acid, which is also an alpha hydroxy acid, but it's a bit down the ingredient list. So its effect is not going to be as high as lactic acid or glycolic acid. It also has sugarcane extract a bit down the ingredient list. Sugarcane extract is a natural form of glycolic acid. So it will also have some small amount of glycolic acid in it. So we've got a good amount of alpha hydroxy acids in this product, which is a good thing, which is what we want from an exfoliating product. The next set of ingredients I would like to talk about are the humectants. Humectants are water magnets. They bind themselves to the water molecules, bring all that water molecules from the environment to the surface of the skin and thus keep the skin hydrated. Now this product has two very good set of humectants. It's got glycerin and it's got sodium hyaluronate. When you exfoliate your skin, you're kind of peeling off because you're removing all that unwanted cells from the top layer of the skin. Skin becomes sensitive. The barrier function of the skin gets a bit compromised and there's a bit of moisture loss. These humectants are going to bring in moisture to the surface of the skin and compensate for the water loss that can happen when you exfoliate your skin. So having humectants in an exfoliating product is a good thing. Further down the ingredient list, you also have sugarcane extract. Sugarcane extract also has some humectant properties. The next ingredient I would like to talk about is squalane with the A. Now what exactly is squalane? Now squalene with the E is present in skin's sebum. It's naturally present in skin sebum. Sebum is the skin's oil. Now sebum plays an important role in skin's barrier function. A number of components go into making that skin's barrier and one of them is sebum. Now skin's barrier, it acts as a shield and keeps the skin hydrated and protects the skin from attacks from the environmental nasties thus preventing breakouts. Now squalene with the E, the form that's present in the skin naturally, 
That's not an ingredient we can use very well in skincare products because it's very unstable. So the skincare manufacturers have modified it and they've made scoline and scoline is the one that's used in skincare products. Now scoline, when it's used in a skincare product, it does two things. It can help that sebum, so it kind of strengthens the skin's barrier function because it's already present in sebum. That's the first thing, so it'll keep the skin hydrated. It'll help in keeping the skin hydrated. And the second thing it does is, it's kind of an emollient, meaning it fills out all the rough patches on the skin and smooths out the skin surface. Now you see emollients are effective for as long as they are on top of the skin. They are not getting rid of any fine lines and wrinkles and all that, but all the patches, the fine line patches and all that, they kind of fill it and give it a very smooth feeling for as long as they are on top of the skin. When you use this product, you will find a brightening effect immediately. The first set of ingredients, the chemical exfoliants, they're getting rid of the unwanted cells, so that will give you a brightening effect. And then you've got choline, another, that's a type of a clay. What choline does is, it kind of absorbs all the excess oil and gets rid of all the dirt and the impurities that's there on the face. So that's going to brighten up the skin as well. And then it's got an ingredient called licorice extract. Now what licorice extract does is, it kind of stops the overproduction of a pigment called melanin. Now when melanin is produced in excess, this excess melanin gets to the visible layer and gets and that's how all the dark spots in the uneven skin tone start forming. By reducing the overproduction of melanin, you're preventing all these dark spots and uneven skin tone and licorice extract can help you with that. And so because it has licorice extract, it's going to further brighten up the skin. Biosense has used a couple of fragrance ingredients, citrus oil and limoninin. The reason it's probably used these ingredients is because scoline that's used in skincare products does not have a pleasant smell. To get rid of this unpleasant smell, they've used this fragrance ingredient, citrus oil and limoninin. But these ingredients can be sensitizers, so they can actually give you a rash or inflammation. So that's something to be aware of. It does have a few sensitizing ingredients in the product like um, citrus oil and limoninin. Though it's got a lot of other good ingredients, these sensitizing ingredients can give you a rash or a bit of inflammation. But uh, that's something just to be aware of and if you think you're allergic to that, then you have to give this product a miss. Otherwise, it does have some very good ingredients in it. How to use the product? Apply it and leave it on for 3 to 10 minutes and then rinse off. Just note that after using the product, skin will be sensitive and lactic acid and glycolic acid both are photosensitizers. So you need to apply sun protection, especially if you are going out. Otherwise, it will lead to some kind of inflammation or rash on the skin because they're both photosensitizers. Now, skin is very tender after an exfoliating product. So make sure you moisturize the skin. Use some kind of emollient, something that will act as a layer and keep all that moisture and the hydration in the skin. If you can tolerate glycolic acid, if your skin can tolerate glycolic acid, this is definitely a good product. It will do what the manufacturer says it will do. It's got a good set of exfoliating agents and it's got a couple of emollients and hydrating agents as well. So all very good. Now Biosense says you can use it two to three times a week. I'm thinking more like one time a week because it has glycolic acid and glycolic acid is a bit strong. So maybe once a week. And if you've used this product and I would love to hear from you what your thoughts are about this product. If you did find this video useful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.